Welcome to Alley 55 Customs. Today I'm going to show you how to change out your CHT, which is your cylinder head temperature sensor. And um, this had a check engine light that popped up, or a service engine soon light actually is what it was. And this was the issue of the, uh, of the check engine light. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the Napa product. It's the Echelon uh, TS. 4061 and this is going on a Triton 6.8 liter V10. So first I want to show you where the location of the sensor is and it is way down under right here. I've already put the got the new one started right there. So it's under the intake manifold so that is your that's your cylinder head temperature sending unit and don't confuse it with your temperature sending unit which is on top this is actually right directly below it it will be on the driver's side um, of the engine on the back side of the cylinder block underneath the intake manifold so that's it right there now if you watch i just did a real quick search on youtube to see how many of these are out there and uh, everybody is showing you that you have to take off your intake manifold, that you have to remove your intake manifold, disconnect everything, pull this out. You need a new gasket set to um, reinstall when you uh, go ahead and put it back together. And you know what? You do not need to do that. Uh, it's time consuming. And I'm going to show you how to take that off. Um, and what you'll do is... To get down in there, yes, it is a tight fit, but I just did it, and it's uh, not as hard as you think. Um, if you use an open-end, box-end, stubby ratchet, uh, the wrench uh, that's a you know a short throw, stubby, uh, open-end, box-end, uh, that works because of the area, because you don't have a whole lot of room in here. Or the other option that you can use is a crow's feet, the crow's foot, actually works really good and it will be a 19 millimeter to take it off and you just take a short extension stick it on there and then you slide it in and then you're just going to have to um, you know it's going to take you a little bit but you can do it and the other thing too is you're going to have to remove your alternator uh, to get to it but that's way far easier than if you have to take off your intake manifold so uh, you do have to, you know, take off your serpentine belt, pull your uh, alternator out. Not a difficult task. It's a, you know, five minute job. And then you have to get in here to your cylinder head temperature sending unit and disconnect. There'll be uh, an electrical connection and you're just going to pop that off. And then, like I said, if you have the uh, open end box end wrench that has, it's a stubby or the crow's foot, 19 millimeter, either one will work really well in here because you really don't have much room to throw because it uh, hits underneath the uh, intake here uh, so anyways uh, give me a thumbs up uh, if you like the video um, please subscribe to my channel i do a ton of videos on a weekly basis and so we'll see you on the next one